everyone, it's Cindy with the Resale Remedy. Sorry about the lighting in here. My lighting kit is still packed up for when we were planning to evacuate for Hurricane Irma coming through Georgia. Um, so the lighting's kind of off in here, so I do apologize. I wasn't on here last week because I was busy, busy getting ready for this hurricane thing, and I am so tired of hearing the word hurricane. But anyway, it's still packed up, and I'm trying to get back to normal. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me show you my room. I'm trying to unpack the room. I had it all packed up into crates. Let's see. Ah, can you see behind me? Oh, it's horrible. Ooh. Okay, guys, back down. Sorry about that. All right. But anyway, I'm not going to talk long today, just briefly. And if I can get a video to work, I'm going to show you what my front yard looked like when Herma, or Herma, um, as I cross between Harvey and Irma, Herma. Um, I'm going to show you what um, Irma looked like when she's just started to come through um, my little town. And it's not real, really a big deal, but you can see what the start of it was like and um, imagine some of the damage I had afterwards. But anyway, it was not as bad, thank goodness, as Matthew last year. So, all right, enough of that. I'm going to talk to you today about something that I've been struggling with, and that's motivation. I get in these moods to where I'm just not motivated. I cannot... I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I, I know a lot of people go through this, especially um, the guys out there that are like me that just have bread and butter items. We don't have these high dollar items to where we can see that um, that light at the end of the tunnel. You know, uh, we we list and list and list, and we still, you know, we we we're not getting anywhere. But if you think about it. And my daughter made me realize this yesterday. She is like, I really want to thank my daughter because my, my oldest daughter, she really helps motivate me, keep me on track, and keep me uh, to realizing that what I am doing is working and there is some importance to what I do. And, and I want to thank her for that. So, you know, thinking back and looking back on everything that I accomplished and have done, I'm not accomplished, but I'm just going to say done since March when I first started um, uh, selling on eBay, I have made money. I have made an improvement. I have made some goals, um, uh, dis you know, a, a get to my goals and, and have those disappear and make more goals. And I have done that. But I'm just saying we all get to the point to where is this really worth it? Is this worth our time? Is this worth our, our effort? Is this worth, you know, worrying about? And, you know, I had one of those nights last night to where I'm laying there, you know, you can't sleep, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, it's worth it. You know, at least you're trying. At least you're getting out there and doing stuff. You're getting, you're getting your your thrifting done. You're coming home, cleaning up that item, put it online, and you're trying to make a business or or, or some kind of income out of thrifting. And we all get into this, and, and I'm saying all of us, we all get into this because. We are either tired of the nine to five and working for someone else. We want to work for ourselves or we're, we're tired of having those holes in our budget to where we can't, we, we can't make things meet. And I have to tell you guys, um, I have had it rough this past couple of months. My electric bill has been astronomical. It's really, really just tormented my budget. And if it hadn't been, for the things I sold on eBay, then, you know, there's some things that wouldn't have got paid. There was no groceries going to get bought. I made that money myself on eBay. And laying there last night, I thought to myself, you know, why think of, why even think about quitting? Why, why is that even coming through in my head? Why am I thinking about quitting? Because I am making a difference. I am contributing and I am new. And I met a man in the post office. Um, I met a man in the post office and he told me this morning, I met a man in the post office this morning and he, he had this big bucket sitting on the counter full of packages and 
I just boldly asked him because that's what I do sometimes. I embarrass my smallest daughter like to death when I do it. But I asked him, I says, are you an eBayer? Do you sell on eBay? And he looked at me and he said, yes, I do. I said, well, you mind me asking how long you've been selling? He said, four years. He'd been selling for four years. And he's right here in my own little town. I have a little tiny town and he's right here in my town. And he had a bucket full of items. And I said, well, I'm mainly still selling out of my house, you know, clothing, items from the closet, things we don't need. And he said, yeah, you're not going to make any money like that, but it will keep you going. And I realized that. And I think I've told you guys that what I do is bread and butter. So he sells electronics and he sells electronic pieces. And he actually said this is his living. This is how he pays his bills now. It took him four years, he said, four years. But he has got high listings. He's got high ratings. And he is, he is very good at what he does. Now, I'm not saying go out there and get electronics, guys. That's not for everybody. It's not for me. I don't want to do that. I like selling everything. I like selling clothing. Clothing is one of my favorite things to sell because it's easy to ship. And it's just, it's easy, you know. Um, I'm learning labels, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, guys, what I'm trying to say is four years, okay? This guy makes a living. He's an entrepreneur. He makes a living. He doesn't work for anybody else. He doesn't plan on working for anybody else. Um, I would say his age range is around 40-ish. Um, not lower, but on the higher-ish part. Um, he makes a living. And, and there's so many people out there like him. You know, and he he's, he's very personable had a great personality, but he makes a living doing this. And I, if I was had to guesstimate how many packages he was shipping out, you know, I would probably guesstimate it to be 50 packages. And this is just, he's like, this is one of three trips he makes to the post office every week. Now this is putting your heart and your soul into your business. Now, if you want to be like this man and you want to make a good living or maybe not have to go back to your nine to five or not have the thoughts in your head like I've been having over the past. I don't know whether it was the pressure from the hurricane, but I have just been seriously down in the dumps. But I was selling things over the hurricane, even though I had my store on vacation, I was still selling and I was still getting those, those bouts of why really is this working you know I, I just don't know what came over me you know I, and I think we all go through this but I'm over it I can't say whether I'm going to go back into it or not you know as far as that way of thinking I can't say I won't but right now I'm over it you know I had a had a good restless night I have to say because I didn't sleep a lot last night but I thought about it I milled it over. I thought about what I have accomplished since March. And then I thought about, okay, well, you know, if this, if this has really done so well for me since March, then what is next March going to hold for me? Next March may be double of what I'm making now. So I'm going to stick in there. I'm going to I'm going to keep on doing this. Thank you to the, the man I met in the post office today. And a lot of thank yous to my, my oldest daughter. And I'm going to keep on doing this because this is what I love doing. I do love doing this. And, but Christmas is coming up. And I guess I'm one of those people that when Christmas is coming up, I want to have enough money to do an exorbitant amount of wrapping and lights and gifts and smiles. I, I just, I want it all. And being um, a very non-productive uh, financial year for me has really put a damper on that. And I think that's what kind of, you know, doesn't help. But anyway, enough of my problems. <laughs> I'm just trying to relate to some of you guys out there that may be thinking about just like I am. Give yourself some time. Take a couple of days. Have a couple of restless nights. And think about your business think about how you can improve it and another thing i can i'll tell you too is you know i i, I started to jump on youtube and watch a, a lot of these other 
uh, high profile sellers and stuff like that, but I didn't. I didn't want to, I did, I wanted to figure this out for myself. And I did, you know, and, and I, I think I've got a, a hold on it now. I think I know where I'm going with this. And I want you guys to do that. Take a couple of days if you have to. Think about what you, you have accomplished so far and take that and double it because that's where you're going to be next year. And then next year, take that and double it. And that's where you're going to be the year after next. And that's the way I'm looking at it, guys. Because what I'm doing now is making a difference in my family's um, my family's uh, economic status. You know, we are able to pay a few bills, buy a few groceries with what I'm doing. And without that extra money that I would be making with my eBay sales, we wouldn't have been able to do that. So that was the, the light bulb on top of my head that said, yeah, my daughter's right. You know, she's right. Keep doing it, Mom. Keep doing it. You're making a difference. Just keep doing it. And why I couldn't figure this out myself and why I needed her to tell me, I don't know. But anyway, guys, if you're struggling with, it, with motivation, if you're struggling with should I or shouldn't I, take some time. Think about it. Think about where you've been and where you're at now. And I'm going to reiterate one more time, and I know you've heard me say this before. Don't take the hours that you take and spend on eBay listing and sourcing and all that and try to put a dollar amount on it and try to make that dollar amount. This is not what you're doing. You guys are entrepreneurs, and you're trying to make a business. And being an entrepreneur, making a business, or a part-time business even, you've got to give. You've got to give of yourself. You've got to give of your free time. And you you just, you've got to. And that's how you're going to make this work. Now, I've convinced myself to have a little more motivation in my life. And, oh, I'm sorry, my daughter and myself have convinced me to have more motivation in my life. And um, I hope that I have helped you guys to have a little bit more motivation or either figure out where you want to go with your store or with your eBay life. Um, this is a wonderful career. It really is. It's a wonderful part-time um, job for some of you guys. And, I mean, for those of you who still that do work the 9 to 5 and come home and peck out a couple hours after work, keep doing it. It will pay off. And you will see a huge payoff. I really believe that in my heart. I really do. Okay, I've gone way over my 10 minutes that I've gone, that I wanted to do. I wanted to make it short and sweet. But you guys take care. Um, I will try to put a what sold list up. But like I said, during this uh, hurricane thing, I didn't sell a lot. But I did sell some. And um, I had my store on vacation. But... I will put uh, what I sold and things like that. I Hopefully, I have a good weekend, and I'll put everything back up on Monday or Tuesday. But you guys take care, and sorry for the lighting once again. I, I'm getting everything back to normal. It's just it's been a chore. I had a lot of outside work to do, but I'll try to put the video up at the end of this. Uh, this. If you don't see it, means I couldn't get it to work, but I should be able to get it to work. But you guys take care. This is Cindy with the Resell Remedy saying bye-bye. Oh, there goes the side of the house. Oh. Uh oh.